He is known for being a pioneer in aeronautical engineering and the first person to understand the principles of flight. He is recognized for his contributions to the development of the modern aeroplane and the identification of the four forces that act on a flying vehicle. His name is Sir George Cayley. In the annals of aeronautics, one name stands out as a true pioneer, Sir George Cayley, the English engineer, inventor, and aviator. Often referred to as the father of aviation, Cayley's contributions to the field are immeasurable. He was the first person to truly understand the principles and forces of flight, making him the first true scientific aerial investigator. Born in 1773, Cayley's brilliance and innovation would shape the course of aviation history. Cayley's groundbreaking work began in 1799 when he proposed the concept of the modern airplane. He envisioned a fixed-wing flying machine with separate systems for lift, propulsion, and control. This laid the foundation for modern airplane design, as it is still based on his discoveries. Cayley also identified the four forces that act on a heavier-than-air flying vehicle, weight, lift, drag, and thrust. His understanding of these forces was instrumental in the development of aviation technology. Not only did Cayley theorize about flight, but he also put his ideas into practice. He constructed the first flying model airplane and designed the first glider capable of carrying a human aloft. His visionary mind even predicted that sustained flight would only be possible with the development of a lightweight engine to provide adequate thrust and lift. His contributions were so significant that the Wright brothers, who are credited with inventing the first successful airplane, acknowledged Cayley's importance to the development of aviation. Cayley, known as George Cayley, is a renowned figure in the field of flying machines. His groundbreaking studies and experiments in aviation have left a lasting impact on the world. One of his notable achievements was the design and construction of a functional, piloted glider. In a three-part treatise titled On Aerial Navigation, which he published in Nicholson's Journal of Natural Philosophy, Chemistry, and the Arts, Cayley laid the foundation for the exploration of flight. Surprisingly, sketches discovered in Cayley's school notebooks from 2007 revealed that his interest in flight theory began during his school days. As early as 1792, it seems that Cayley had already identified the principle of a lift-generating inclined plane. To further his understanding of flight dynamics, he developed a whirling arm apparatus to measure the drag on objects at different speeds and angles of attack. Additionally, Cayley conducted experiments with rotating wing sections in the stairwells of Brompton Hall. Through his scientific endeavors, Cayley made significant discoveries. He created an efficient cambered airfoil and recognized the four vector forces that influence an aircraft, thrust, lift, drag, and weight. Cayley also understood the importance of the dihedral angle for lateral stability during flight. To achieve this stability, he deliberately positioned the center of gravity of his models below the wings. These principles later influenced the development of hang gliders. Not only was Cayley a pioneer in flight theory, but he also had a knack for practical inventions. His emphasis on lightweight design led him to invent a new method for constructing lightweight wheels. By using tightly stretched string instead of traditional spokes, he was able to shift the forces from compression to tension, effectively reinventing the wheel. Although wire eventually replaced string in practical applications, Cayley's innovative approach laid the foundation for the wire wheel, which is commonly used in bicycles, cars, airplanes, and various other vehicles. Cayley's passion for flight culminated in his successful flight of a model glider in 1804. This glider had a layout similar to modern aircraft, featuring a kite-shaped wing at the front and an adjustable tailplane at the back, complete with horizontal stabilizers and a vertical fin. In 1843, Cayley became the first to suggest the concept of a convertiplane, a groundbreaking idea that was published in a paper the same year. He went on to design and build a biplane before 1849, which a ten-year-old boy had the privilege of flying. With the assistance of his grandson George John Cayley and engineer Thomas Vick, Cayley developed a larger-scale glider. In 1853, this glider successfully flew across Brompton Dale in front of Wydale Hall. Although the identity of the first adult aviator remains uncertain, it is believed to be Cayley's coachman, footman, or butler, with some sources speculating it was John Appleby, a Cayley employee. Nonetheless, the 8th edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica from 1855 provides the most authoritative account of this event. A 2007 biography of Cayley suggests that his grandson, George John Cayley, was the first pilot. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.